Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today we're doing a suggested video by Felonious Monk. We're doing the quokka. Quokka. Quokka, do you know what a quokka is? A fun word to say. Well, you're about to know. All right. Uh, sorry for the producer screaming in the background. <laughs> you know, he just be. Where do you think the quokka is from? Sounds like something from South America. South America? Yeah. Maybe Australia. Okay, let's move that for now, I guess. So you're saying South America, mm -hmm. possibly Australia. Yeah. Move it up to like New Zealand, like that, that little bit down there too. Like between China and Australia, wherever, all that island bit. All this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, uh, they're found on the smaller islands off the coast of Western Australia. Yes. Uh, they're found on the Rottnest Island off of Perth, and also Bald Island near Albany. Albany? Al Al I've, heard, I've always heard of Albany. Okay. And in isolated scattered populations in forest and coastal, I put Heath. Okay. Between Perth and Albany, a small colony exists on the eastern limit of their range in a protected area of the Two People's Bay Nature Reserve. So. I live here. I was right. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I successfully guessed a habitat. You done did it. Oh, it's like a cute little, it's like a big chipmunk. Yeah, it's adorable, isn't it? It's adorable. Yeah. Uh, it looks a lot like a very small kangaroo. Though it, can, though it can climb small trees. Okay. So yeah, super adorable. How much do you think they weigh? Um, is that a full grown one on the screen? Uh, to my knowledge, yes. Four to seven pounds. Four to seven pounds? Yeah. Pretty close. It is five and a half to 11 pounds. Okay. Now, how long do you think they are? How much of their tail am I missing in this picture? Uh, uncertain. Oh, okay. Uh, are you doing including tail? You can include tail or you can do tail on its own. You know, do body and then do tail. Okay, I'm gonna say <clears throat> 11 to 13 inches just the body, or, uh... And the other one's tail, gonna be a tail? Tail, looks, tail it looks almost the same length as the body, if I'm going to, it doesn't look like it's tapered off there at all in the picture, so, uh, seven to 11 inch tail. Okay, well the body is 16 to 21 inches. Oh, it's a lot, Longer than I thought. And the tail is 9 to 11.8 inches. Okay. Uh, Not so they're, hard, I guess. they're about the size of a cat. Okay. Uh, they are a marsupial, so. Adorable. They got the baby pouch that, uh, you know, has rattles in it and could be a sucker. Like a binky? Uh, those kind of look like this, right? Yeah. The yeah. Sucky thing on it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, they are mainly nocturnal. Sleep mask. Very nice. You sleep during the day, gotta make sure you have a sleep mask with you. <laughs> Diet! What do you think they eat? Leaves. Small insects. I would say small insects when we're talking about Australia, because everything there is huge and creepy. Yeah, leaves and small insects. Okay, well, they are herbivores. Uh, they eat grasses, sedges, and leaves. Sedges? They show a distinct preference for new young growth plants after a fire. Okay. So if there's a bushfire or something, they'll- Clear the way. They'll uh, go in and eat that new growth that's coming up. <laughs> so, no on the buggies. Predators! Aww. But uh, what do you think they gotta be worried about? It's Australia, everything. Is it everything? Just everything. Everything is trying to eat everything there. Well, more specifically, red foxes, dogs, and cats. Dorian. Yeah, don't eat these. Yeah, don't eat those doors. Do people try and kill these at all? Uh, due to their adorable nature, people really like them. Breeding! Uh, they breed all year round. Okay. So they don't have any set breeding season. Females reach sexual maturity at around 18 months. Females can give birth up to twice per year, and they can produce about 17 joeys in their lifetime. Uh, gestation is around one month. Then the joey moves into the pouch. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, the joy will live in the pouch for the next six months. After that, it relies on its mother for milk for two more months, and then it's fully weaned. So around eight months, they become fully weaned. Okay. Not winning mother of the year. <laughs> Can you guess why? Uh, is this one of those that like, oh, you're an adult now, bye, and then just abandons it? Bad ma. Yep. Uh, if they're being, if a mother is being chased by a predator, they will dump the joey on the ground because it'll make noise, and then the predator will go after the baby before it goes after the mother. Oh God. Yes. Yeah, definitely bad mom award. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad my mom didn't dump me out for any predators. I'm sure she's thought about it. <laughs> I'm sure she has. <laughs> If I, th if I throw this baby at this guy, he'll leave me alone. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> status, what do you think their status is? Um, well, I'm gonna go uh, because of their adorable nature, uh, probably just vulnerable. You're going to the vulnerable? Yeah. You are correct. Yeah. Dorian, uh, this is where you live now because you wanted to come on the table. The Quaka used to roam about 15,900 square miles, and by 1992, oh, guess how many square miles? How much was the first one? It was 15,900. Dory, oh my gosh, Dory, just find a comfy spot, please. Um, let's do 9,000. Saying 9,000? Yeah. It is 6,900 oh, square boy. miles. I was gonna say half would be closer, but because they're just vulnerable, I was guessing maybe they add more. Uh, due to the small litter size, mainland predators and habitat loss is a difficult situation for them. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2015, a bushfire near Northcliffe nearly destroyed one of the mainland populations entirely. 90% mm -hmm. of the population, uh, estimated to be 500 individuals, are reported to have died. No. Oh. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. How long on average do you think they live? Mm -hmm. 18 months? Say, I don't know, uh, nine to 12 years? Nine to 12? Yeah. It is 10 years. Okay. So yeah, really close. Lore. Think of, think they have any crazy lore? Um, other than them just being adorable. Uh, uh there's- Legendarily adorable? Um, nowadays, <laughs> yes. Uh, there was no readily available lore that I could find. Uh, we can make our own if we want. Would you like to make any lore about them? No, not really. No? I can't think of any just lore off the top of my head about something that's cute. Yeah. Okay. If it was like mean looking, it'd be, you know, some go with something, but they're just too cute. All right. <clears throat> oh, look at that guy. Fun facts. Do you recognize this photo? Should I? Uh, there was a phenomenon where people would make a point to take selfies with the quokka due to their seemingly smiling faces. Okay, I kind of... I can't remember that. This is one of one of the more popular images mm -hmm. of it. Though they are called the happiest animal in the world, there are uh -huh. still a few bites recorded on humans each year that are reported. Where are you uh, going, buddy? Oh, okay. The fact-checking website Snopes had to confirm the animal existed <laughs> because people submitted questions constantly thinking it was simply too cute to be real. What a problem to have. What a problem to have. <laughs> Too cute. Uh, they're also known as yeah. the short-tailed scrub wallaby. Questions, comments, concerns, snide remarks. Dorian's in the way of everything right now. Uh, no, just I, I would, I want to take a smiling selfie with one of these guys. Yeah, they're adorable. Yeah, it was quite the phenomenon. It's, that's funny. I, I. Like celebs I, I got it on it. I vaguely remember it. Yeah, very vaguely. It was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's the there's the quokka. A thank you to Felonius Monk for suggesting the quokka. Uh, feel free to suggest more. We do animals, peoples, places, things. Let us know what you want to see. Thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.